germs, while they may remain unseen, their effects hardly go unnoticed. According to studies, nearly 22 million school days are lost to a common cold alone each year. With this unseen enemy on the loose, I decided to go into Mount Vernon High School and see exactly where germs are lurking. Library books, school bus seats, mats, bathroom services, doorknobs, vending machine keypads, and sports gym equipment. The list for where germs are hiding is seemingly unendless and always surprising. But what is the germiest? According to studies, the water fountain has 2,700,000 aerobic bacteria per square inch. Not so thirsty anymore, are you? With this shocking information, I decided to go ask a couple of Mount Vernon students what they thought the germiest thing in our high school was. What do you think is the germiest thing in the school? The germiest thing in the school? Oh, um, the hands of students. I think the doorknob when you walk into class, because everyone touches it, and you probably don't wash their hands before they touch it, so that's probably germy. Doorknob? <laughs> okay. Yeah, object. I was going to say a desk. <laughs> doorknob, that's it. The backpacks, <laughs> bottoms of them. Probably all the desks or pencils or basically anything. I guess the drinking fountain didn't seem as dangerous to students as it did to the scientists who tested it. A close follower to the drinking fountain is the class pencil sharpener. Most experts say that you should have your child bring mechanical pencils so they don't have to touch it because it turns out it's one of the germiest things in the classroom. Some of you might like to think twice next time before you sit down at a computer. According to research done at the University of Arizona, Computer keyboards and computer mouses ranked high in levels of five bacteria, including E. coli, salmonella, and skin infection causing Staphylococcus bacteria. With a plentiful amount of technology in Mount Vernon High School, I went to a nearby computer lab to find out what was being done to reduce the spread of this dangerous bacteria. Well, to prevent germs in this classroom, I, uh, once a week I take a disinfectant and I clean all the keyboards. With the multiple studies being done in schools about germs, many elementary schools have taken to giving students hand wipes before lunch. I decided to head to MBHS administration to find out what was being done at our school to help prevent the germs. Well, we're fortunate at Mount Vernon High School that we have a nurse on staff, uh, Cheryl Hughes. She does an outstanding job of doing some staff development activities with, with staff to make sure that we're aware of any potential viruses, germs, or whatever that may be on the horizon, and so she'll constantly do updates with us. The other thing is, as an example, this year, it might seem silly, but she trained all the staff on how to sneeze appropriately. I decided to take his advice and headed over to the other hallway to talk to our school nurse. How are we doing some germs? We're um, trying to help people to remember to wash their hands. Um, we're using disinfectants in areas like the health room. Um, to try to take away the germs because a lot of people who are sick come here. Um, we're trying to teach people how to cough differently because um, when you cough into your sleeve as opposed to in your hand, then you don't spread the germs as much. Sure, our school nurse knew a lot about germs, but what about the other teachers? What exactly were they doing in their classrooms to help prevent the unseen? High schools are germ factories. I've been sick zero days. I've missed zero days of school because of illness, because I wash my hands 28 times a day. Eat right, get plenty of rest, exercise, and uh, try to not suffer too much stress, and I wash my hands. Uh, I just use a lot of Purell, generally is what I do. A lot of Purell uh, and uh, positive thinking and meditation. It seemed a common theme between these teachers was that they washed their hands multiple times per day. I suspected that the students weren't as highly dedicated. Do you wash your hands before lunch? Um, no. <laughs> why, why, why would I? I use Purell sometimes. No. No, I don't wash my hands. At school, no. Just because I don't really have, I don't think about it. No. Never. Studies show that infectious illness can be reduced up to 50% if we wash our hands properly with soap and water on a regular basis. The facts are there. While we can't completely get rid of germs, we can definitely fight back. By merely washing our hands, coughing into our elbow, and disinfecting, we can give these germs a run for their money. <laughs>